How do you make a paper puppet that looks like this talk without looking like this? It took me a long time to decide on a style or an approach that I felt suited the live action in camera puppetry of my short film Gruff. I've puppeteered moving figures before, but they've never had to speak. So I actually ended up using a few techniques through the course of the film in my search for the right one. The first was stop motion. Simply put, stop motion is like a slideshow of pictures that make it seem like something's moving. My first experiment with this was one of Bo's first lines in the short. This is for you! The original plate of footage has no moving parts around the mouth, so I hand drew the mouth shapes needed for every part of the words in the line, arranged them in the computer, and warped them ever so slightly to smooth out the transitions between the still mouths. Then I tracked that sequence onto the performance footage and got this. This is for you! Now when the abuelo says, I knew I needed his jaw to open really wide for that, and I felt like flickery stop motion wasn't going to blend very well with that in-camera puppetry. So technique number two was digital puppetry. I handmade a big wide jaw and filmed it in the same lighting environment and location as the main puppet. Then I blended that with the performance of the footage to get this. That worked for a really shouty line, or a scream like this, but it wasn't going to work for subtle talking like this. Once upon a time. So for Hazel, I returned to stop motion, making all these mouth shapes for the vowels and consonants for the couple lines she has. And mouth by mouth, I puppeteered the inner mouth so that there was still some human puppeteered performance element happening between the different mouth shapes. But then the outcome looked like this. Once upon a time. There was a super spy. And I don't know, I still didn't like how flickery that looked against the smooth puppet motion. So technique three was born, which I'll call the hybrid method. I made one generic open mouth, puppeteered the teeth and tongue by hand, then digitally manipulated that one single mouth to match the word shapes. And it gave me the best of both worlds. Smooth motion for the lips that married much better to the puppetry, but inner mouth movement that is still captured 100% in camera and puppeteered by a human. Some things don't have words, so we have to be close enough them. So this journey actually became a perfect example of the whole film philosophy. It's computer-assisted reality rather than computer-generated reality. And while these methods might not work in every future application, it's still the mindset that I want guiding me as I continue to evolve this paper cut style. 